Hey, what's up guys, it's Marquez from MKBHD, and today we're taking a look at the Bose Companion 2 Series 2, speakers that I believe are really great for the price you get them for 99 bucks. So if you wanna check that out, that's in the description below. We're starting off with the setup of these here, and basically how we're gonna get started here is by unboxing them, of course, so thumbs up for that. Basically, one of the reasons people buy speakers is so that they can have a quick, easy audio solution, even if it's not difficult to set up. And for 99 bucks, that is exactly what these do. They're surprisingly simple for the price. As you can see, we take them out here, we can unbox them, and setting them up is as quick as just a few steps. Taking them out of the wrapping for the first time, you'll notice the Series 2 are built like tanks. They're made from a magnetically shielded plastic cabinet on the outside, and we'll show that more off later. You also notice that one of the speakers has all the controls and the circuitry, while the other is, well, a companion. So it comes with this wall adapter that looks a little bit odd at first, but basically it comes with the plug from the country you live in. So plug that into the wall, plug your main speaker into the wall, and plug your companion speaker into the main speaker that's plugged into the wall, and connect your audio source to the main speaker as well. You can connect up to two audio sources. It comes with one cable, but you might want to attach a second one in the future. These speakers have great efficiency, so they'll generally run really loud and really clear without an amp. I've listened to a lot of hours of audio on these $99 Bose speakers. I've also listened to a lot of hours of audio on $600 IKEA Audio Studio monitors and on $29 earbuds, right? So that's a pretty full range. But what does 99 bucks get you out of Bose? What kind of value are you gonna get out of $99 Bose speakers? So during my time owning these speakers so far, I've learned a lot about why people like them a lot about the speakers themselves and about a lot about why they cost 99 bucks. They have a pretty decent build quality, they're pretty durable, the cables are really durable and they aren't breaking anytime soon. And also the cabinet is magnetically shielded so you can have it right next to a monitor with no problem. I was a little bit concerned about the cabinet size because the only speaker itself in the Companion 2 Series 2 is the 2.5 inch driver up at the top. So the 2.5 inch speaker is the only speaker in each side. So there's a whole lot of body of the speaker that's not being used, or maybe it's hollow, I don't really know. Uh, maybe it helps with the sound having space in there, but uh, it definitely uh, confused me why it was so much bigger than the actual speaker. And I like compact speakers, so, you know, I don't know. So how do they actually sound? That's what people wanna know, it's why they came here to see this review. Well, I'll start from the highs and work our way down to the lows because that is also the order in which it falls. The highs sound great, they're very, very crisp, they don't overpower anything, they're not shrilly or tinny or anything, but they sound great. And uh, I definitely like the way uh, songs in a certain genres, like certain pop songs and rock songs, guitar, acoustic, stuff like that, jazz, sounds great, the highs are excellent. The mids on the Bose 2 Companion Series 2 were medium. I could definitely hear that some mids were especially more prominent in some songs, so they sounded good with, again, certain songs, it was like hit or miss for me with the mids. And the lows were also Decent, decent at best. I listen to a lot of music, like house music and, and music with a lot of bass in it already. So when I'm not hearing it in the Bose 2 and I'm used to hearing it in say my M50 headphones, then it's a little bit weird to not hear that bass. If you listen to a lot of music with intentionally heavy bass, you might not like these as much, or you might wanna go ahead and pick up a subwoofer for maybe an extra 100 bucks or 75 bucks to really fill in the sound because the mids and the highs, like I said, are just fine on these speakers. Other than that, yeah, that's basically it. Those are the Bose 2 Companion Series 2. If you like this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.